Occasionally you hear or read something and think, that can't be right. I mean, surely I must have read or heard that wrong. And that was precisely my reaction when I read San Francisco and New York were going to pay people not to shoot one another or otherwise commit violent crimes. Paying someone not to shoot us is sort of what we have to do in carjackings and bank robberies and armed robberies. We pay money to stay alive. It's a version of blood money or extortion. And sometimes money is paid to keep someone else alive, like in kidnapping cases, and that's called a ransom. So yes, sometimes criminals are paid not to kill. And sometimes in the heat of the moment, when forced to choose between money and our lives, we will pick our lives. I just never thought government or any other non-criminal enterprise would actually encourage this kind of shakedown or extortion. I mean, think about where we are as a country right now. Some progressives are advocating for cutting funding to cops, but paying criminals so they will stop, at least until the check clears, being criminals. I want you to let that sink in for a second. Really think about that. Some progressives want to stop paying cops, but start paying criminals. And these are the same folks who tell us we need more social workers and more psychologists because we all know how great social workers are at processing crime scenes and collecting DNA samples. And now we need more cash cards and gift certificates so those who do not value life can at least learn to value the dollar. Money has become the new morality. What about not shooting people because it's wrong? I mean, that used to be what we taught. You don't commit crimes because to do so is to break the social contract. Is it still okay to teach people killing and robbing and assaulting people is wrong, or do we have to pay protection money? What a mess this culture is in. I mean, taxpayers in this country already spend a lot of money to prevent crime. The number one crime prevention strategy we have is called school. It's called an education. You want to reduce crime? Make kids get an education. You want to live in a safer community? Make sure your children and your grandchildren and your nieces and your nephews graduate high school at a minimum. We spend so much money on education so we can offer some hope, offer a better way of life, offer a glimmer of opportunity. We spend money on after-school programs. We spend money on a social safety net so those down on their luck go, won't go without housing or food or health care. We spend money on public transportation. Uh, this country already provides a ladder for those who want to ascend and a safety net to catch those who fall. But apparently that isn't enough. Now we must also pay you not to kill us. What about the kids who would never think about hurting someone else? What about the children in San Francisco and New York or any other large American city who do not need to be bribed to follow the law? They do not need to be paid a ransom to value human life. What about just a shared sense of humanity? What about the accountability that we should all feel toward one another just by virtue of being fellow citizens, fellow human beings. What about the kids in these cities working two jobs, one to help support a family and one to save for the dream of going to college? If you have so much money, you can afford to pay people not to kill us. Do you also have enough money to pay people who want to go to college to become a nurse or a firefighter or a teacher? or heaven forbid, a police officer? Are we just going to pay those who are thinking about taking a life? Or can we at least also consider paying those who are thinking about saving lives? Since when did we start paying the troublemakers but ignoring the kids who are doing the right thing? And since when did the path to prosperity get paved with felony convictions? If your state or city is so flush with cash that you just cannot find new and innovative ways to waste it, 
why not pay the kids who actually deserve it? Why not reward the behavior we want to incent rather than pay ransom money to keep people from hurting us? Defund the cops, but pay career criminals not to commit more crimes. And we wonder why so many people think this country is on the wrong track.